Okay, this is the W1EE remote HF station on remote hams. Now when you first connect, you've got to turn on the uh, power, of course. I already have it on. You've got all your different buttons here, some slide controls, and then some other buttons on the left here. And then you've got your frequency buttons over here, 10 through 80 meters. You also have 6 and uh, 24, which you don't use. Now, the most important thing to do when you first connect is make sure it's on SWR over here, Transmit Manager. That's the most important thing. You have to adjust the MFJ Auto Tuner. Now, what they've added on this newer update is this M-Tune. This is nice because it lowers the power to about 30%, and it tunes much nicer. I know I did have the tune button, which I only had before, but I left it. Because sometimes you may need it. But you just hit the M tune. Let's see, we're on 40 meters. And then you see here it says SWR, one to one. Now it's also important, you'll notice it turns white. Wait until it turns back to the original color. Sometimes it may take 10 or 15 seconds to adjust and it's going to turn white. The MFJ is tuning so you don't want to interrupt that. Wait until it goes back to the original color. And then of course you have the regular tune button here. Then you've got other controls here like your noise blanker. You've got a noise reduction as a control and that works with the notch filter. There's no a button for that. When the noise reduction is on, you can use the slide control here and the notch filter. Then the next thing you have the PBT outside and inside band pass uh, tune outside band pass tune inside you could adjust these this is good if there's a lot of QRM you can maybe pull some stations out Murray likes to use it on CW and then if you see the light come on up here I mean somebody was using it so you could just click on this and it'll automatically go back to zero and you got split which is uh, VFO A and B, which I don't use. DXers sometimes do this. And you got VFO A and B and split. You got these controls here. I don't know exactly what they do. I never used them. The scan control. Uh, this is for your microphone, uh, which is good to use if somebody's having a tough time hearing you. You got lock control which locks the whole thing so it don't work. Test control, test rather, test. This is like an intercom. If somebody else is on, you can talk to them. There could be two, three, four people on here. It's an intercom. It doesn't go over the radio. It's just an intercom. And that's really about it on these buttons here. And then, of course, you've got some buttons on the uh, bottom here. You've got uh, your RF power which should be all the way up. RF gain, the balance control, which we normally don't use. I think that's for your uh, VFO A and B. Mic gain, squelch, this you use on FM. It's got to be at least a 24, they say, before it actually will squelch anything. This is for your microphone. And then for CW on the keyboard, you got break and delay, side tone, and CW speed. Now when you're sending CW, it comes out and you can read it over on the side here. In fact, I could send CQ, W1EE. You'll see it come out on the screen. Now for some reason it only shows one E, but I can hear two E's. I don't know why that is. And then, of course, you've got all your other controls here. 
your lower side band, upper side band, AM, CW, RTTY, whatever. You got filter. Normally I leave that on medium, but you can adjust it. Automatic gain control. Preamp. I usually leave it off, but you could, if you use this, you probably have to use the filters. Otherwise, you're just bringing in more noise and QRM. ATT. This is uh, 20 decimals to lower a strong signal. Antenna 1. Now, we only have one antenna, so you don't have to do anything here. Just leave it to where it is. Transmit bandwidth is mid. I usually leave it there. And of course you got SWR and you got power and ALC and some other controls here if you want to use them. And all that, will, those will all come up on the meter. These other ones like power for instance or ALC. And CW method, you would use normal. And that's really about it. You can see, you got, you can see who's been connected. You can scroll down or up what time and who connected. You can see who's connected over here. You see A, that's administrator, W1EE. And on CW, you do have other controls here you could use. If you use CW, you know what these are for if you want to use this. And that's really about it. It's not terribly complicated. You know, some people have beams and uh, amplifiers and everything else that become pretty complicated, but this is a club station, so we just want to make it simple. I also did a lot of work on the station, and that's a whole other uh, subject in itself. And maybe I'll make another video on that. But I didn't take any shortcuts. Everything is grounded. I changed all the coax. And uh, Terry is very nice to come over and uh, put up the antenna. On one end is like 60 or 65 feet. It's really up there high. And it slopes down a little bit to my flagpole. So everything is working good. And uh, we'll put this on YouTube and I'll have some uh, links on there that may uh, help you uh, use the uh, remote. If there's any questions, they do have a message board. And uh, they also have one for the Android phone, or the Android uh, whatever you're using, it explains how to use it. And they're very good. They very answer questions very quickly, usually. And I just read through it. It's good just reading through it. I learn things just by uh, other people's problems, what they did to fix it. Because you got the experts on there that uh, designed this whole program. All right, that's about it. And... Uh, we're going to sign off, and uh, if you have any questions, you can even send me an email or just check the website.